Hey there guys, so it's October now, and um, gonna be doing some horror movie reviews in honor of Halloween, which is arguably probably my second favorite holiday, right behind Christmas. Obviously, everyone loves Christmas. You can't not love Christmas, and I'm pretty sure that most people agree that, um... Halloween is the second best holiday of the year. Some people prefer it to Christmas, some people don't. Me personally, I like Christmas just a tiny bit more, but there is something magical about Halloween that I just love. And there's also something terrible about Halloween that I don't love, and it's the fact that there are so many terrible horror movies that are released around Halloween that, um... Yeah. But speaking of terrible horror movies, this is one that I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. And I specifically scheduled it to be on this day since it's a horror movie. And the first day of October is a Sunday. So this, uh, this felt like perfect timing. Let's talk about The Wicked. my god. Where do I even start with this movie? So, I'm gonna come right out and say that I have not seen the 1970s British version, which apparently I've heard is actually a very good movie, so I do want to watch it, because I want to see a version of The Wicker Man that's actually a good movie, and not just the Nicolas Cage meme fuel that is the 2006 Wicker Man, but, um... Yeah, this movie is, uh, it's, it's a, it's a classic. I mean, obviously this movie has re reached legendary status at this point. You got the Not the Bees, How to Get Burned, uh, the Nick Cage in a bear suit punching the one chick. This movie has become a bit of a meme fuel, uh, movie, and that's awesome, because anything that kind of inspires other people to create cool stuff is cool. But yeah, let's let's actually talk about the movie because a lot of people see the memes but don't know the movie. So that was me. So the t I just watched this movie for the first time ever today when I was putting the notes together for this review. And I was planning on doing this with Mason, but we just couldn't um, get together this weekend to do it. So... This upcoming weekend, next weekend, next Funny Bad Review, I am going to try and get Mason back, I promise. I've been doing a lot of these on my own, and I have Mason in the thumbnails because we pre-made the thumbnails for these, so... Yeah, I keep... I want to get Mason back, but are just... We're either too lazy to do it when we are hanging out, or our schedules just aren't lining up and we can't get together to do it, so... We're gonna try, guys. Really gonna try. Um, I actually don't know what next week's is, so... I, I was gonna say what it is, but I can't remember what it is. I know this month we're doing Batman and Robin and Fant 4 Stick, so... Those ones I'm definitely going to try and get Mason for, but... Let's talk about The Wicker Man. So, um... We start off with a flashback to Nicolas Cage as a cop. And he... He sees... This girl throws her doll out a window. He grabs it, pulls them over, and gives it back. And then she throws it out the window again like a douche. And then we get this hilarious scene of just a random truck out of nowhere. Stop that. I'm so sorry. She's about to end. Don't worry. It comes with the territory. I'll get it. <laughs> this scene makes no sense. Mainly because... This truck is going to see two things. This truck driver, he's going to see two things. He's going to see a car, and he's going to see Nicolas Cage. 
it's much more likely that the thing he's going to smack into is Nicolas Cage, just because a human being on the road is harder to see than an actual car. So, yeah. But basically, this is the thing that's kind of haunting Nicolas Cage's character. He's, um, he has visions of it. He... It's really weird, and so he gets contacted by an old love of his named Willow, who tells him to come to this island that's run by all women, and um, he goes there, and while he's on the boat on the way there, he sees this. reactions are what make this scene really funny to me because he's just like the pills that's my impression of someone taking pills but so he gets to the island and he meets with these three creepy old chicks which is always a great way to start a horror movie by the way creepy old chicks for the win. Anyways, he sees a bloody bag with um, something in there squirming. And he's there to investigate a missing child. So what does he naturally assume that it is being a police officer? What's in the bag? A shark or something? He assumes... A shark. And then they open the bag and they're like, take a peek. And he goes and looks at, he tries to, and then they, there's a jump scare. He doesn't actually see what's in there. And then he just dismisses it. He's just like, what? I'm not, do I want to look into that? Nope. Okay. I'm going to get on out of here. You have a good day with your uh, leaking bloody sack that's squirming around. I won't get in your way. He's a terrible police officer. My first suspicion. And I'm not even a police officer. I'm just a normal human being. My first assumption would be, huh, I'm here investigating a missing child. That is a bloody squirming bag. Who knows? Maybe the child is in there. Hmm. Nope. But so, Cage, he spends some time on this island, he's investigating, he's trying to figure stuff out, he realizes that things are pretty shady on this island, and then he, uh, he finds a doll. He finds a doll, and you know where I'm going with this, so I'm not even gonna set it up, just, here it is. Is this hers? Kill me! I, yes, I, I think, yeah. How to get burned? How to get burned? I, how to get burned? How to get burned? I don't know! How did I get burned? I might have just woken people up by doing that. I'm pretty sure my mom and brother are taking naps right now. And I just screamed that. So. <laughs> so, Cage. Things are just getting weirder and weirder, and there's this festival coming up, and so he he's trying to he gets to the bottom of things, and he decides to steal a bike. Get off the bike! Get off the bike! Step away from the bike! Take your stupid mask. And just for the heck of it, just because I was planning on doing a funny bad review of this, but I just couldn't find enough, like, funny bad stuff to talk about. And also I was just too busy and lazy to end up doing it. I'm gonna throw in this clip of Harrison Ford from the movie Hollywood Homicide stealing a bike. You're welcome. for 
for you, Mason. Uh, if you're watching this, I put that in there mainly for you, but also mainly for me, just because I wanted to use that clip for something. But so, the, then he gets back to the, he gets back to the place, the inn, and uh, he, I'm, I'm not even gonna set up this clip. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show it to you guys. And this is not cut down or anything. I'm showing you the full clip right here. Um, but then it does cut to another clip. But here's Nicolas Cage fighting a couple of women. So yeah, this movie just became three different types of awesome. Not really. I I do not condone domestic abuse. And <laughs> I'm trying to turn this into a PSA. <laughs> Moving on. Cage steals Sister Beach's bear suit, and then we get what is arguably the second most famous scene from this movie? You all know what it is. What are you doing? Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. Oh my god, he punches a woman in a bear suit. This movie is like a gift. This is actually a scene that's in the uh, director's cut, I believe. Where, um, you know, you know what the scene is. It is the most famous scene, meme, anything to come out of this movie. Yeah, here we go. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Not the beast. Not the beast. Yes. This movie is literally a gift. But so, um, they take Cage and they put him in a giant uh, wicker man, and we get the very worst year at Burning Man ever. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Put it down! Run! Put it down, honey! Put it down! So they burn the cage man, and then uh, we get this ending that sets up that the cycle is just gonna repeat, and the uh, pointless James Franco cameo. When you do, will you take me with you? So that is The Wicker Man, starring Nicolas Cage. And is this movie terrible? Yeah, it's a pretty boring and uh, joyless movie. It's like two hours, I think, maybe longer. And uh, it's one of the least entertaining movies I've seen. While also being one of the most entertaining movies I've seen. This movie rides a fine line between being... Um, too boring to actually enjoy, and then having things that are so outrageously over the top that you can't help but just become engaged again. Like, from beginning to end, there are scenes in this movie that are just so, so over the top and weird that it's, it's hard not to just kind of regain your focus every now and then, because it's like, Okay, this investigative stuff isn't very interesting and it's very boring, and then you'll get the How to get burned! How to get burned scene. And then you're just gonna be like, oh my god, I'm intrigued again. And then you'll be like, I'm really bored, and then it's like, get off the bike! 
Get off the bike! And then you'll be like, oh, okay. And then you'll be bored again, and then he'll just walk up to the sister beach and just... And then you're just like, oh my god, he just punched a woman! Like, <laughs> every time you end up getting bored in this movie, something outrageously over the top happens that just pulls you right back in. And I gotta admit, this is one of the most entertainingly boring movies I've ever seen. And that is a paradox that I have not experienced in a long, long time. So yeah, as a movie, The Wicker Man gets an F. This is a boring... Um, this, it's just a boring, jump-scare-filled, terribly acted, poorly written, poorly directed, the effects aren't that good. It's just an all-around terrible movie. But as a funny bad... I'm gonna give this movie an A+. I mean, the funny moments are few and far in between, but when they hit, they are some of the most strong, um, they're just some of the strongest funny bad scenes ever put to film. And if you have not seen this movie, I would recommend watching it as an experiment of just how much terribleness you can endure just for funny stuff because honestly there was a point in this movie where I was just like I want to turn this off but then the funny stuff just kept happening and it's definitely um okay um I would highly recommend watching this movie as part of a group and just like watching it to see just to see it once. Because it's one of those infamous movies where it's like, it's so bad that it's kind of hard to resist watching it because you're just like, oh my god, that's so bad. You know? It's, it's like The Room. It's one of those movies where it's really bad and you have a hard time getting through it, but it's like one of those movies where it's like, I this is an infamously terrible movie and if I don't watch it, I feel like I'm missing out. And that's how I felt for a long time, but I was like, I want to I wanna wait and watch it at the right moment when I'm going to talk about it. And now, I, and now I've watched it, and I will probably watch it many, many more times. Hopefully not by myself, though, because if I have to watch it again by myself, I'm probably going to be bored. But if I watch it with other people, it'll probably be fun. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of The Wicker Man if you've seen it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out our Patreon page in the description, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you for this movie. I don't even believe in you, but thank you. Thank you so much.